Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, um, we are going to work on a lab to create a virtual network. This is part of the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam labs that are available on the GitHub. And I'm going to give you this link to this video so you can have a detailed look when you're doing it. Uh, we're going to create the virtual network from the portal. We'll just go to the portal, look for the virtual networks and click the add button to create the the network and then we'll configure the way uh, Microsoft I mean the lab wants us to configure so let's click on that one and uh, it should get you well, we are already in the virtual network so let's go back in here so just to show you that this is what so you are in here so this is the virtual network and uh, you can create an instance just by clicking the add button and we're going to configure this as per this requirement so name is this and uh, then the resource okay address space let's see if i have the address space that i can define here no address space you have to go and define in the next page so let's see what else do i need to define here let's copy and uh, the resource group name that uh, we are going to deploy this so this is where we have given the and we're going to deploy in the east us which is my favorite location to deploy stuff uh, for the ip address <coughs> this is the address space that we're going to use so uh, let's delete this and put that so that's the ip address that we're going to use and then <coughs> does not have any subnet so we want to create a default subnet so add a default subnet right here <coughs> excuse me and we're going to call that <coughs> subnet uh, def default and the name of the subnet is going to be or the address <coughs> excuse me subnet address name is going to be that okay so now if i click on add now i got the sub subnet that is required as part of the lab so we have done all of that to create two virtual machines so let's uh, uh, click create so it should create the validation of successful so I'm creating the virtual network and here we go here's the deployment is going on you can also see what's going on from this uh, notification icon over here if you click on it it will give you a lot of details even for more details you can go to the activity log if you like okay so let's uh, give you a second it shouldn't take too long just to create a virtual network so let's review what else in the next task we're going to create two virtual machine uh, so in the same resource group we're going to create vm1 and uh, virtual network we're going to see that the same virtual network looks like we're going to for both of them we're going to create the same uh, virtual network and uh, we're going to assign a public ip and once that's done will do some connection to those uh, virtual machines and be done with the lab so let's uh, go back so our deployment is successful so here uh, we have got our virtual network so if you now go you can click on go to resource it will take you to the resource itself so there is my virtual network uh, right now if you click on address space it's going to tell you is there anything at, at connect connected anything to this virtual network no do we have any subnet yes we have the default subnet uh, but uh, that's about it for the virtual network so let's let's start uh, creating a couple of virtual machine within this resource group that are going to use that particular uh, virtual net so again let's get the virtual machines and paste uh, it should show up virtual machines again do not select the classic Go with the regular one and click add <clears throat> so that's going to give you options to configure uh same it's not even giving me an option to copy why to my rgb in it so we'll just click on it my rgb in it so let's do that uh, vm1 is the name of the virtual machine it's going to be in east us uh do we need any availability option no windows 2000 uh, server 19 data center is what we're going to create 
so over here we're gonna choose data center <coughs> availability option uh, you can select availability zone or availability set <coughs> zone you can choose uh, any of the three availability zones uh, and availability is for the set right now uh, for the east us there is no way you can have availability set that no option is not even actually you can <coughs> but you do not have an availability set defined so if you want to do that you will have to create a new one but we are not um, concerned about the redundancy so i'm not going to choose that one uh let's see what else uh, username is as your user okay and uh, we need the password let's go use the password and let's confirm the password and i want to make sure the size is also the size it didn't specify so anything that is by default is good uh, inbound ports allow selected ports and 3389 so that's, that's gonna allow the rdp connection and is there anything else uh, networking we're gonna choose the vnet one so that's uh, this is all good disk then networking i'm gonna choose vnet one is already selected so i'm already happy about it and then review and create so that should start uh, the validation and once it's done you are you will be able to create a virtual machine so <laughs> that's all good uh, i want to say create so that should start the deployment of this virtual machine that will be using the particle of vnet and in that resource group it's going to be deployed monitor your deployment but continue on the next step create a second virtual machine okay and we'll do this Okay, in this one, a uh, new VM to IP. We didn't really do anything, configure the public IP in the last one. So let's <coughs> come back. Go over here, go back to our virtual machines tab. Um, one virtual machine uh, deployment is undergoing, but we can, uh, while it's going on, we can start working on the next one. So what they're saying, just get the VM2 name of it. So still in East US, same virtual net and uh, VM2 is the IP address that we're gonna configure. Everything else is going to uh, here. We need the 2019 data center. Uh, uh, as your user, looks like the other deployment in is now done i'm going to use the same username and password for this machine as well so this is my username <coughs> uh -oh. so this is my password so that all looks good i don't know why it's saying we raid over here um, and then uh, allowed circuit port is good uh, let's go to disk nothing at all uh, default is fine uh, VIP address is VM2 already selected I'm okay with that VM1 so everything else looks good to me so we should be able to review and create and deploy this virtual machine only thing that looked a little bit weird is that uh, I had a red mark in here uh, sometimes it's telling me that you cannot use this size for whatever reason but we'll see we'll still do review and create and see you know if that's a uh, uh, it, it passes our validation. It's a validation pass, so that's great. So we have uh, we are now creating the other machine. Uh, if you look at it, the previously that VM that we uh, started the deployment, that deployment is already done. So we can go to the resource actually. So that will bring up the VM one. The VM one is running. It's a running state deployed in East US. Uh, here's the public IP address. We haven't configured any DNS, no tags, but here's the general properties for the virtual machine. It's a data center <coughs> with a publisher. It's a Microsoft Windows server. VM generation, agent status is ready. Agent version is this. Uh, networking, we already have this. We have a private IP address of this. Uh, uh, the other one is also now done. A standard DS2 V3. So everything looks good. So we can go to the other resource as well. Okay, so the other VM, that should be VM2. 
as we suspected VM2 and it's got a new IP address uh, Windows it's also in the running state and the same virtual network so this section of the lab looks good <clears throat> so the final portion is test the connection uh, what this lab is going to will, will allow ICMP connection and test whether the virtual machine can communicate each other. ICMP is usually blocked. So, um, what we need to do, we have to open some ports so the IPMP, I, ICMP connection is actually possible. So, here, all of that is. Uh, all of that uh, is for how to connect to this virtual machine using your RDP connection so let's <coughs> excuse me so let's go back to our virtual machine VM1 so you can click on this connect button and download RDP file since I'm using a Linux box I'm not going to do that I'm just copy the IP address and I'm going to use my favorite Remina client to connect to that virtual machine. I'll click on it. It should ask you for that certificate. So yeah, so and I'm using uh, What is the username and password? So we are using as your user So let's get that and uh, we are using a password uh, Of this so let's get that so that should let us in to this particular virtual machine which is VM1 and uh, let's go back to the lab <clears throat> all right so pretty much over here you are uh, connecting to that machine uh, here's a certificate wearing that we already got uh, and within that machine we're gonna open a parcel command command line uh, uh, command shell and then we're gonna run it as an administrator and if we try your ping is going to fail okay the ping is ICMP and as I said ICMP isn't allowed through the Windows firewall <coughs> so what it's saying if you go inside the virtual machine where is my machine here's my machine so in here I can click on here go and type PowerShell okay then uh, uh, where is it this come back over here click on it run as administrator and if I do ping uh, ping to the other machine I think what is it saying yeah ping VM2 so if I try to ping the other machine which is uh, ping VM2 <coughs> it's not gonna go anywhere okay because this ICMP is connection is blocked so let's stop this uh, what you need to do you need to uh, you open RDP session to VM2 and allow connection of IP ICMP traffic so what is doing you can connect to VM2 now and we can do the same step so let's try that out so we need another uh, another one of this so let me click on it uh, let's see new window it's going to give me another new window yeah so this is another window that I can use so let's go to the virtual machines go to the VM2 and uh, get that VM2 IP address click over here so this is going to the other IP address yes uh, same username and password so let's get that one more time copy uh, over here password um, over here so put that uh, connect so this is connecting to so this is where we have the force machine this is the VM2 where we are connecting right now and inside this virtual machine uh, we are going to open up uh, ICMP and how, how do you do that you got to run this net new net firewall rule display name allow ICMP v4 in protocol ICMP v4 so you can run that command from inside this machine so let's go to PowerShell and the login uh, it's coming up did I type anything 
<laughs> little slow. Excuse me. Okay, let's try it one more time. P O W E R. Come on, my virtual machine. Be fast. Here, here. So PowerShell. So here, I'm just. I just need to run the command new net firewall rule, and all we're doing, we're allowing the ICMP packets in. So let's click and hopefully I have enough permission to do this is anything happening all right I'm not sure if there's anything happening so let's uh, do PowerShell one more time and uh, let's run as uh -oh run as administrator and uh, in here what I'll do copy this one more time come over here paste and it should be doing something now uh, what yeah so now that's done so <clears throat> for some reason it didn't work maybe I didn't open the first time I'm actually also going to do the same thing for this machine as well from both machines, I'm going to allow uh, uh, the partial uh, the ICMP packet to go on from one way to another. Okay, so we have done that. Now is they're saying return to the RDP session on VM1, and now you can do ping VM2. So let's go. So this is my first machine. So now if I do ping VM2, look at that. Now I can connect to that machine. Okay, and I bet you now if I do this and try to connect to VM1. What do you expect? It's going to give you the connection back. So now we have verified that we have connections to both of the machines. So in this lab, we have created a virtual machine, virtual network. We have deployed two different machines in the network, and we have verified that they, those two machines can talk with each other. Now, if you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe if you're studying for the exam. Good luck, be very comfortable with the virtual machines and networks and IP address and this kind of testing of connections. And with that, good luck again. Thank you for watching.